YouTube, Adam Taylor again here today. Wanted to visit with you for a few moments. First off, I wanted to apologize for the audio quality. I mentioned in the description one of the last videos that we were working to resolve that. I have the part ordered, it just has not come in yet. I really wanted to get this video out to you guys uh, with that. So I apologize once again, hopefully you can bear with us. And uh, next time have that part in, we should have the audio quality fixed. So I know there's a little bit of echo with that. So I apologize once again. But I hope you have a chance to go back and watch some of our previous videos that we've done. We have a total of three. We made a little commercial for our travel tray, which we're really, really excited about. And I'm going to try not to talk a whole lot about it since you can see some of the other videos. But, uh, but really wanted to visit with you today about the process, the, uh, the reason we started the company, a little bit about us, and, uh, and kind of walk you through maybe some of the, the journey that we've gone through in order to, uh, to get where we are today with that. Uh, like I said, our name of our company that we started is called Texas Tulsa Connection. I currently live with my wife in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, great town, but we have partnered with my sister and brother-in-law who live in Texas. And so uh, due to that type of connection, then that's how they came up with the name. So uh, maybe not the, the best story or the most creative, but uh, it, it's true. So. But really, our vision for the, the company began about a year and a half ago. Uh, I'm one of those guys who, who likes to tinker, likes to learn. And so uh, I began a company with my wife in which we actually just resold different items on eBay. We started off going to garage sales. We started going to Goodwill, estate sales, thrift shopping, you name it. Uh, we did it and so we would take those try to find something in which uh, had a higher resale value and, uh, and flip those items on eBay. Really really enjoyed that process. Um, learned a whole lot about e-commerce online sales through that. Hadn't really sold a whole lot on eBay prior to it. Uh, the great thing is there's a lot of awesome information online. You can, you can find tons of YouTube videos as well as be able just to, to read different blogs in which people uh, do that all the time and so we started off doing that really for the better part of maybe six months or so. Uh, enjoyed it. It is a lot of work. And so you'll, you'll probably see a lot of people that get burned out through that. Um, but it was a very fun process. I, I, would, I would do it all over again um, if, if I had the opportunity. But like probably a lot of people, we started talking about it with family and kind of let them know, you know, what we're doing. We're excited. We're pumped for it and really enjoying that process. But on uh, a Christmas of 2016, we were talking about with my sister. Um, kind of piqued their interest a little bit. We were actually on the way back driving to, uh, to Tulsa, and my sister gave us a call, my wife and I, while we were driving back, and basically asked us if she could join in on, on the company. Uh, initially, I wasn't really that excited. It was something that my wife and I were kind of doing. We enjoyed doing those things together. But after thinking about it a little bit, it really just made sense to be able to, to bring them on. It was one of the best decisions uh, that we've made company-wise on doing that. And so some of the things that we've learned with, with paired up with another group um, with it is the fact that you're held more accountable. And so now when a decision's made, when we're supposed to uh, do accomplish a task, it's not something that we can just kind of sit off and say, hey, I'll do tomorrow. Um, or I'll mess with that. It's not that big a deal. I think as, as humans, we, we need someone to, to hold us to that. It's kind of going to the gym. You know, you always are more successful when you have a, a workout partner that can push you, uh, that can make sure you're waking up early to, uh, to, make, to, uh, to hit the gym, uh, to get your cardio, whatever it is in for the day. And so doing that and pairing up with them has really held us to that accountability. And I felt like made us better in the long run, allowed us to grow as well as each one of us we feel like has a unique set of skills that we've been able to bring to the table through that process as well. And so what we did is we started buying pallets. Okay, so we would go, we first started off going to Oklahoma City, they have a place down there, and then we end up going down to, uh, to Texas in the Metroplex area to a place called Discount Truckloads in which we would buy returned items from Amazon, from Groupon, Walmart, Target, uh, probably anywhere you can think of, they had them there. And so um, we would take those by the pallets and uh, flip the items in there that, that actually had some more resale value on them. Uh, really became fairly successful with that. We grew and it really it, it taught us a whole lot about 
online sales. Okay, we, we almost had no experience. I think my sister had an eBay account prior to that. I didn't have an eBay account until starting this in really June or July of 2016, but just kind of learned as, as I went through that, uh, through those steps and through that process. Um, but we used to, to take those, we would have them shipped up here to the company or we'd go down there and pick those up. But uh, you can imagine we had stuff everywhere. My, my office here was packed. I actually floored in the rest of my attic and uh, we would store, built shelves to keep things organized, uh, bought tons of boxes, all the stuff that you need to be successful uh, with that and, and really enjoyed it. It was a very, very fun process. It's amazing all the different things that you get in on those pallets and we would get excited. It's almost like Christmas every single time a shipment would come in. But, uh, but flipping those, learning to, uh, to, to correspond uh, with customers and, uh, and, and learned a whole lot. Through, I guess it was about June of 2017, discount truck loads stopped for a short period of time on getting Amazon products. To us, that was a big deal. We, uh, we enjoyed the Amazon the best. Some of the Walmart stuff was just kind of junk. It was hard to, uh, to necessarily flip. The Groupon stuff, it, it had some, some value to it, but it just wasn't the same quality we were used to with Amazon. And so, we really started doing some study, trying to, to figure out what we were going to do, whether we we're continuing with that same business model, whether we were to go a different direction. Ultimately, we set on starting a private label. We, we had a little bit of capital built up. Um, through that, we felt like we had the experience, and we started the process of educating ourselves on private label. And so we would watch, my sister and I, tons of YouTube videos, read blogs, um, buy books, whatever you can think of. We just started investing in, in any type of education system. We did not get involved into uh, any online courses. I know there's lots of great ones out there. Uh, we just chose not to do that. We felt like that we either could invest our money in those courses or we could invest it in product. At that time, we felt like let's go with the product route, You know, whether it's the right decision or wrong decision. Hard to say at this point in time, but, but we learned a whole lot um, with those videos and any type of, of free course online. And so we started our first private label product in June of, of 2017, so pretty quick. We had been watching some videos up into that, but really kind of hit it hard at that point in time. Through that, there were, were tons of, of things that, that really set us back. We did not get our first private label product in until November, I think it was the 20th or the 21st of November of 2017. So it took us a really long time to get that first product in. Um, some of it was really our, our company philosophy. As we created the company, Texas Tulsa Connection, one of the things we wanted to do, especially on the private label side, was make sure that we were giving a great product, a great, excuse me, great quality product. You know, some of the stuff, I buy tons of stuff off Amazon. I don't know about you guys, but I love Amazon. It seems like if you can't find it in the store, you can find it on Amazon. It's there. But I spend a lot of time reading reviews, making sure I'm getting what I want. And, and that it's not going to fall apart. It's not junk, essentially, when I get it in. So one of the things we want to do as we created this company was, okay, what is our mission statement with it? What are our goals? We talked a little about this in our last video, but basically producing a high-quality product, something that, that when somebody holds in their hand, hey, it, they can tell this thing is going to last. Um, we wanted to, to be able to solve some of the problems that, that other people may, may have with, with current products out there. I don't know about you guys, but there are tons of great people out there and tons of great products that are being invented or maybe reinvented every single day. I was actually watching TV this morning as I was walking through getting ready for work, and um, I think the product was called uh, Reheatsa with it. And so they were taking a, I, I guess it was almost like a, a flat grill type, type deal and you could put it in the microwave. I'm not sure what the metal, how that exactly worked, but it almost was as you were deep frying uh, some of your, your product or some of your um, food items that you had. So, you know, you heat bread up and it's all soggy and everything else. And so, you know, you have all these great ideas and great inventions out there that people come up with. I don't know if you're like my family, you sit around, you're using something, you're like, man, I just wish that did that, whatever it is um, that you got. And so for us, that was really one of our things is why not us? What, why couldn't we take those things and, and make them better? Why couldn't we take something that may already be correct but make it out of a better quality 
so that it's made to last, so people get the value, get their money's worth out of it. That's always what people are wanting is, is how do I make uh, or how do I get my money's worth out of something. So for us as a company, we want to provide that value, that, that product that just maybe is missing something to that. And so that, that's really where we started from. We wanted to build our brand around that idea. And we felt like that's what we started on with it. Our first product, we spent months and months and months. Now we had a couple of delays with uh, getting some materials and stuff for the, uh, for the manufacturer, the supplier in China. But we spent tons of time making, uh, sending emails, um, phone calls, whatever it was, back and forth uh, between our supplier in China and getting it shipped over with the samples in the United States. So taking you know, material, okay, it's a good material, but can we make it waterproof? Can we make it last? Um, what's something, okay, well, that, that particular part works really well. What would make that part work even better and make it more useful? Uh, and then we, one of our things is we enjoy the bundling side. So we started bundling just to give that extra value. You want to feel like if you're paying you know, X number of dollars for a particular product, how do you get the best value for your money uh, through that? And so that was really our, our, our side, our business model that we've established and, uh, and really want to hang our hat on. We want to build and give um, the best quality product for the best price and not really have that upcharge. I know that may not be the... The, well, we want to give the upcharge, but we don't necessarily want to make people feel like they're they're wasting their money or they're paying too much for it. And so, that that's where we we've started. At. We've made a ton of mistakes through that process. To a certain degree, that is just a, a part of life. Now we want to educate ourselves. We want to learn as much as we can, as fast as we can. But some of those things are just part of any type of business. You can go do tons of research on on individuals that are successful, and you will find that they have failed many times until they were able to, uh, to become successful, until they're able to, to grow um, whatever business, whatever industry that they're in. And so for us, that is a part of the process um, with it. And part of this, this whole channel is that we want to share and walk you through those steps as we've grown, as we've developed, and hopefully keep other people from making those same mistakes. Now, we have become a much better business. We've become uh, a much more refined or create a much more refined process through those mistakes. And so um, I don't necessarily know if I would trade some of them out because it has made us better. It has, has allowed us to, to make less mistakes as we go through it. We've already started on our second product that we're, we're developing. And uh, we know the process now. We know how to negotiate with, with a, uh, a Chinese supplier. We, we know uh, some of the, the terminology they're going to throw at you in terms of, of the shipping process, the, the length of time. Um, you know, one of the big things is that is we're, we're developing, uh, we're trying to put some cardstock, um, I guess, information pieces into our packaging. And, you know, in the United States, we use uh, pounds for weight for thickness. They don't use that in China. So just be able to, to learn some of those steps. As you're going on YouTube, you're going online trying to, to educate yourself. Like I said, there's lots of great individuals out there. Um, in fact, one of the, the, the best places to look is actually uh, Greg Mercer and Jungle Scout do an amazing job. I, I would um, tell you that it's some of the best software to use. We, we use it for, uh, for our current product and are using it for our second one that we're working on. But, but there's actually a, a study that they're doing and uh, they've actually done, I guess, two of them in the United States, they've got one that they just got through finishing in uh, in Europe. I think the UK is where they're they're going through creating products, walking through the steps. But but as we've done this, we realize that there are some steps that they just aren't showing. And so we want to be able to to help you guys out and maybe fill in some of those blocks and take you along on this fun journey with us. And so as we walk through this channel, as we send these uh, these weekly vlogs out. We want to, to take you through the process, some of those things that, in which we learn, you know, creating your trademark, uh, going through the process of LLC and getting your tax ID number, your reseller's license, all those things, and walk you through that. And, and hopefully help you guys not make the same mistakes that we did. Uh, I think that's, that's part of what YouTube's all about, uh, is really helping each other as we grow and develop uh, with it. Uh, we've been through the process, we're, we're continuing to grow, uh, I'm not saying that we are perfect by any means, but, uh, but we are spending a lot of time to hopefully not repeat those 
um, those decisions and those mistakes that we've made. And so we're really excited. Uh, as well as if, if you have somebody that, like I said, we've got my, uh, my sister and brother-in-law help us accountable, but if you've got people that, that will support you around you, you've got other people um, that are excited about what you're doing for us as family, coworkers, um, that understand what we're trying to do, it just makes the process that much better. It gives you the motivation to continue going. And so the confidence, I think confidence is huge as you're, you're learning, uh, you're developing, knowing that, okay, am I making a mistake in this process or is this the right thing? You know, when you're, you first start out launching your product on Amazon, you're going to lose money. It's just part of it. If you're not losing money, you're probably not doing it correct because your product will never sell. It's going to get stuck on page, you know, 50 and no one's ever going to, to see your listing, whatever it might be. And so kind of learning that how long do you need to lose money for when do you stop, um, you know, giving away products at a discount, uh, with that. And so learning some of those things, uh, I think has made us a better company, has set us up more for the long term, helped us create that brand that I mentioned a while ago uh, with trying to provide the better quality, the, the, the premium product, giving it for a great price. Uh, what is the profit margins that we look for um, as we've gone along? And so we really want to walk you through that journey and want you to be a part of it um, with it. Our goal is to give these weekly vlogs out. Uh, I plan on having uh, my wife on with me some, as well as my, my sister, my brother-in-law, who we feel like all bring different things to the table and make our company what they are. And, uh, and we're excited to share this information. It's been a really fun journey. We have learned so much and um, we're excited about where we're going from here. Um, and, and for us, it's not necessarily, I know like I said, a lot of people start these things to be able to to maybe get rid of their, their job, to be able to retire early, whatever it is. And those are all great things for us, though we, we enjoy working with one another. Obviously, we, we like to make money. That's, that's definitely, if you're not making money, you're, you're probably need to go find something else in, in this type of deal. But really, it's the, the process and, and learning these things uh, to be able to grow. Like I said, for us, it's grow the brand. We want to, uh, to really have our, our name out there. We want it to, to stand for something. We want it to represent something as well. And so... We ask if you want to follow us along to, to hit the subscribe button at the bottom there. Uh, follow us through the process. We're going to give uh, weekly videos here, keep you guys up to date, uh, go through all these steps, all these process, processes uh, where we've made mistakes, things we've done really, really well, and, uh, and hopefully keep you guys from uh, making those and really be an encouragement for you every single week. So uh, if you've got questions, you've got comments, please put those below. We'll get to you. We'll, uh, we'll answer those as as quickly and as fast as we can. And uh, look forward, like I said, seeing with you and visiting with you every single week. So thanks and look forward to, uh, to seeing your comments.